So, good afternoon everyone, especially to you sir. So, my topic is all about Aristotle's life and his works. So, first, who is Aristotle? So, Aristotle was born on 384 BC to 322 BC in Stagira, Greece. He is a prominent ancient Greek philosopher and a polymath. And he is considered one of the greatest thinkers in politics, psychology, and ethics. A student of Plato over 20 years, but he is famous for rejecting Plato's theory of form. And a teacher of Alexander the Great. So, next is Aristotle's contribution to biology are notable. His, his Historia and Anomalium made him a pioneer of observational biology. He classified animals based on their classifications and characteristics. Aristotle made pioneering contribution to all fields of philosophy and science, invented the fields of formal logic, and identified the various scientific discipline and explored their relationship to each other. So, so next is Aristotle's contribution to biology are notable. His his Historia and Anomalium made him a pioneer of observational biology. He classified animals based on their classifications and characteristics. Aristotle made pioneering contribution to all fields of philosophy and science, invented the fields of formal logic, and identified the various scientific discipline and explored their relationship to each other. So, his philosophy had a long-lasting influence to the development of all Western philosophical theories. And he was a prolific writer, a lecturer, and a polymath. In politics, he emphasized the importance of balanced government, proposing three forms of it, the monarchy, aristocracy, and the policy. Polity. He also explored the concept of virtuous ethics believing that people should cultivate habit for a virtuous life and he used the three concept three concept to explain everything by their functions clarifications and hierarchy hierarchy so we know that hierarchy is a system in which people are ranked according to their importance so not just that but he is also a father of logic because aristotle reflect upon everything from the weather, physics, and natural science, to justice, government, and arts, and a arms with a critical eye and a great curiosity about life. He had a, he had a fundamental influence on the way we perceive and understand the world around us, although some of his theories turned to be inaccurate, but still Aristotle's Philosophy continues to inform and inspire present and future generation of mind eager to learn. So, and also, he founded the Lyceum. So, what is Lyceum? Lyceum is a Athenian school founded by Aristotle in 335 BC in a grove sacred to Apollo Lysias. Owing his habit to walk around the grove while lecture his lecturing his students. So, kanang ginabuhat ni Aristotle, kanang murag na adapt na to ni Aristotle, kanang yung ginabuhat niya, kanang mag-report or mag-explain ta nga while naglakaw. Kay, so, according to Aristotle, nga kanang ginabuhat niya is kanang murag mas ma-elaborate or mas, mas pasabot pa niya ang gusto niya ipasabot kanang daway nga kanang maglakaw siya. Unlike mag na maglingkod lang, so murag murag boring or something murag dili kay ma-elaborate so muna ginabuhat ni Aristotle kay para ma-explain pagyod para masabtan siya mga student ang gusto niya ipasabot so next is his student and school the student acquired the labels of peripatetics so kumbaga na ay title ang yahang li ang yahang student og ang yahang ang school ah mo na siya ang gitawag og Peripatetics. So, peri, peri is from the Greek word peri, which means around, and patient is to walk. So, Aristotle have his own versions of laboratory where he and his student could experiment, explore, and discover new knowledge about the world around them. 
he developed formal system of logic that became known as a formal syllogism. His work on logic devel uh, development in the fields of uh, reasoning and argumentation, and some of the examples are all men are mortal, Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. So next is all mammals are warm-blooded, whales are mammals, therefore whales are warm-blooded. And he became famous when he disagreed when his mentor Plato said that knowledge is inborn or inherited. So according to Plato, ang ato ang ang knowledge is inborn or inherited kubaga kumbaga kung bright yung parents or bright mga kaliwat uh, kumbaga ang outcome or ikaw or kita dapat bright punta so kumbaga ang in short nga kumbaga makuha na ma-inherit na siya sa tong parents or sa tong kaliwat so makuha siya sa DNA so but but uh, Aristotle said knowledge come from the sense and can be through itself so he believed that we gain knowledge by experiencing things around us and learn from them, as what he said. Also, Aristotle said that the goals of human life is happiness. To reach this is to moderate or to avoidance of extremes. So, in order to achieve happiness, one should avoid from going extremes interactions or excess interactions. So these are the extremes or excess interactions. Uh, kaning rashness, extravagance, greed, pride, loquacity, and so on and so forth. So kaning extremes. So according to Aristotle, to achieve happy life, so we should uh, avoid extreme or excess interaction. And also Aristotle developed and analogy between the soul. According to Aristotle, the two parts of the souls are the spirited soul or the vegetative soul. Next is the appetitive soul or the sensitive soul. Third is a rational soul. So he believed that these three parts of souls are like a team. So they all work together to make us who we are. So first is a uh, vegetative soul or the uh, expected soul. So, in the thoughts of Aristotle, the type of soul possessed by plants, the vegetative soul has a capacity for growth and reproduction. So, kanide ang vegetative soul or is ang expected soul kay muna kwanan siya sa plants and um, trees. Mga, for example, trees, plants, ano siya. Then, kay ang ang expected soul o ang vegetative soul is Nasli capacity to growth, mutubo, yun mo reproduce, managhan, but they don't have feelings or this lang maka sense o kanini ang, o this lang maka receive o mga kuan reactions, this lang maka pa, this lang maka express ay lang mga reactions, or so, for in short, this lang masakitan. So next is a sensitive or appetitive soul. So Aristotle believed that human behavior is motivated by the natural senses of appetites. So, in action is performed, the appetite is satisfied. So, number one example is, kanang, for example, natay gusto paliton or natay gusto kaunon. Then, pag makauna na to ang atong gina, ginahan kaunon, di ba, murag ang atong appetite, masatisfied ka, masatisfied ka, kaya na to gusto. Then, isa pa anak nang uhawunta ana di mo inom tag tubig then pagman ani ni ang pag makainom na tag tubig murag ma satisfied na ang ato ang ato ang appetite so these appetites are internal state such as hungry uh, sexual arousal thirsty happy or the desires of bodily comfort so those are the examples of a sensitive soul or sa appetitive soul. So next is a rational soul. Rational soul compasses our capacity for reason and logic. This is what helps us think, memorize, make decisions, and exercise our freedoms of choice and learn new things. 
it is what make uh, makes us smart and able to figure things out so ang rational soul ang kalahian mangod sa rational soul o sa appetitive soul is ang rational soul more than she got the help sa to ang maghunahuna memorize makes decision if if that decision is on the consequence kan if it's right ba or wrong ana siya yun maka kwanta freedom to choose and new learn new things dayon kay like for example ani o oh, ang number one example nako is kaning sexual arousal sa sensitive or sa appetitive soul ani iba na magi uban tawo nga ani ni ang dili lang mapugngan nga, nga gusto nila satisfy ang ilang self so muna ang ginabuhat nila is manghilabot na lang sila ana but ang rational soul para dili na siya madayon ang rational soul may mag mag help sa to uh, to think nga muna siya magpugong na mig ayaw nagbuhat uh, kay which is ang consequences ana is bad so muna siya nga uh, muna kalahian sa duha kumbaga ang ang sensitive o ang uh, ang sensitive or ang appetitive soul is to also make decision but ang mag-decide yun if is o dayon ba or dili which is rational soul so so rational soul is what what sets human apart to other animals and allow us engage intellectual pursuit so but sometimes kanin ni ang naate pagka kan pagka territorial eh, like for example kanang abang ko kanay mo usual seat na ay na may mulingkod but kanang ni ang urag masuko ka kay dapat diha ka mulingkod kay diha na gud mogi asay di na ming lingkod di ba murag masuko ka ana but ang rational soul muna siya ay magpugong sa imong hanga para dili masuko mana din ang rational soul is uh, ayaw na lang kasuko find another vacant seat para wala na lay gubot so muna ay kalahi an sa sa vegetative or the spirited soul ang ang sensitive or a appetitive soul o sa rational soul muna kalayan nilang tulo so I think that's all for to this report so I hope you understand